Duke neurologists now have a way to help people with tremors. The condition often pops up in connection with Parkinson's disease and epilepsy. Only on WRAL, Jeff Hogan shows us how these new procedures helped a Fayetteville man. All right, so hold out your hands like that. 72-year-old David Phillips has lived with constant shaking in his hands for about 10 years. Over time, the condition grew worse. I mean, eating, I always got to the point I was self-conscious because I, I knew people were watching me try to eat. For him, a procedure called deep brain stimulation was too invasive. Duke offered a newer option. When they told me you could actually have both sides of your brain done instead of just one, that really hit the target for me. It involves MRI imaging paired with HIFU, or high-intensity focused ultrasound. Neurologist Dr. Nandan Ladd says the procedure has been refined over the past few years. There's a focused ultrasound machine that is tailored for delivering a thousand beams of ultrasound energy to a very specific target in that tremor circuit. This is an incisionless surgery. There's essentially no bleeding risk with that. Very low, if not zero, infection risk. A team of specialists closely monitors the application, constantly checking in with the patient. Each time, they tested his fine motor skills, like drawing lines and circles, as well as his own name. Finally, this was the final um, drawing that we did in the MRI itself. And then afterwards, this was an example of what he was able to do while seated. He'll have to wait nine months before getting his left hand treated. Right. This day, his family came to celebrate his steady right hand. Don't cry. Don't cry. Phillips was happy to cut the cake. Show us how, how steady that hand is. Basic things that many people take for granted, eating, drinking, aren't possible with moderate to severe tremor. And so those are the types of things where we can restore the function, restore the quality of life. We've done something really meaningful and impactful. Jeff Hogan, WRAL News. Boy, that changed his life. At a younger age, David Phillips enjoyed the art of calligraphy. The tremors robbed him of that skill, but now he plans to do it again.